Hey everybody, welcome back. Tonight we're going to take a drive in my car to talk about the GPI Max Package 2.0. And specifically we're going to talk about drivability. Let me tell you just a little bit about the car. Uh, this is a 2011 Camaro SS uh, manual transmission. Uh, it has the GPI Max Package 2.0 in it, uh, as well as a McLeod RXT clutch. Uh, we've got 410 gears with solid bushings. You will hear the rear end make a noise in this video. Which is totally normal with a uh, with a solid bushing setup like that, and it's going to help illustrate uh, the drivability a little bit as well. Uh, we've got the LSXR intake manifold with 103 millimeter throttle body on here, and then the Max Package cam. It's got uh, 21 degrees of overlap at 50 thousandths lift. That's a couple more degrees than our SS3 and SS4 no fly cut cams for the LS3. You'll find that a lot of tuners and folks in the industry would say this is a pretty big camshaft and that you're going to really struggle to get good drivability from a cam like this. We would disagree, and I think you'll see that it drives very well. Uh, big camshafts do take some uh, heightened focus in a couple of areas to get the drivability right as far as the tune-up. And there's a couple things you need to do with how you drive the car to make sure that you get... Uh, good drivability from it, but it's really no big deal, and it's definitely not something to be afraid of and something that you want to drive even every day back and forth to work in the city. Not a problem whatsoever. I did go ahead and data log the drive. That's going to allow you to see my throttle inputs, how I'm manipulating the clutch, the speed, the RPM, all sorts of good stuff to help you really understand what the drivability is like. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so let's take that drive. It's our hot start. Welcome to it. We'll just idle around the parking lot here. I'm not gonna touch the throttle. I'm gonna pull out of this space. We'll creep around. Won't even touch the throttle. Go ahead, we'll creep over here. space again we can just come right in there come right to the stop and you can come right out of the space not even touching the throttle you can give it a little throttle if you want to give you a quick note about the data overlay you'll see it jump time at a few different points throughout the video uh, I cannot make the HP tuners playback align with the video as nicely as I'd like so I have to do some splices and moves to keep the data more or less synced up it's not perfect but it should give you a pretty decent idea
up another gear or two and you'll see with a little bit of load on it uh, it'll be even be smooth and even a lot less rpm than that
would consider it an aggressive clutch. By no means a, a race clutch, but it has a pretty narrow engagement window, and uh, it will bite you if you're not careful with it. But obviously, it can be driven with smoothness, uh, minimal chatter on takeup.